In this video, I will show you how my DIY solar system did throughout 4 days. This will include 2 snow day, 1 sunny day and 1 cloudy day. This is the first day, it's a snow day and the snow was able to accumulate on top of the solar system. I need to get it cleaned up. But I went to the inverter to check to see if any voltage was coming in. The first inverter, you can see the voltage is bouncing up and down around 100 volt. Moving on to the second inverter, connect to a different array, is doing the same thing. Then I went outside to clean off the snow of the two solar array. I was able to get most of the snow on the second one, but on the first one I was able to get everything off because I have to leave for work. And this is what it's reading after I clean up most of the snow. The first array was able to pull in 100 watt. And the second array is pulling in 294 volt. It's not showing any amp or wattage. The following day, I noticed I forgot to clean up the panel on top of the shed. Those go to my portable solar generator. I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in checking it out. So I'm going to be doing that on that day and also finish cleaning up the second array. I went up there and cleaned up the panel on top of the shed and then I did my best to clean up the second array. The snow did transition into frozen rain so it was a lot harder. I let the sun did some work before I could continue. It looked like the first array is pulling between 800 and 1500 watt and the second array is pulling significantly less because I still have to finish cleaning the ice off of it. This is the current state of the battery, 15%. I really need the system to get charged today. After the sun came out, I was able to finish cleaning the second array and let the sun do the rest of the job. Today gonna be a sunny day, so it's one of the best days to collect as much energy as possible. By the end of the day, the battery was able to charge up to 50%. And let's see what the first away was able to get. The first away got 11.2 kilowatt hour. And the second away, it got 15.1 kilowatt hour. Because nobody was home, this inverter used 1.6 kilowatt hour and this one used 0.6 kilowatt hour. The next day was cloudy. This is what the weather looked like throughout the day. And I was able to get some energy. The first array collect 3.3 kilowatt hour, and the second array collect 3.6 kilowatt hour. I think this was good for the day, considering it was mostly dark cloud. And this is the final day. This is in the morning. Snow is already accumulating on top of the solar panel. I went downstairs to check if any tank was coming in. You can see some voltage are coming from the first array. And the second array is doing the same thing. This is what it looked like snowing for the second time in a week. This was in the morning time. I had to go to work. Once I got back from work, I took the time to clean both solar panel array. And I also did not forget to clean up the solar panel on top of the shed this time. The following day was partly cloudy, but there was enough sun to melt all of the snow on the solar panel. After the day was over, I went to the inverter to check the total amount for the day. The first array bring in 5.5 kilowatt, and the second array bring in 6.2 kilowatt hour. Overall, I think it's a good idea to remove snow off your solar panel if you can do it safely. If I did not do that, I would have very little energy coming in because the sun would have a really hard time melting the snow in this cold weather. I will leave a link in the description for most of the items I use for my solar system. Thank you very much for coming to my channel. Have a good one.